Hi and welcome to my re-release of my drivable vehicle pack that I did for Unreal 4. First to say all of you guys who buy this pack, thank you, you kept me going over the year and because of that I decided to re-release this pack with a new content just to say thank you guys. Now this pack has a three vehicles, this APC, this chopper and this military vehicle. Now I rework all three vehicles. I made new meshes, new sounds, new behavior, new handling, everything. But uh, I will split this uh, showcase in three videos. We will start from this vehicle. This is the old model that I did, I don't know. A uh, year and go year ago, maybe year and a half. Now this vehicle used the old method of texturing. The textures that use the uh, specular maps, not PBR stuff, and it used the uh, old shaders made for UDK. And in the time I was quite happy with it, but now I learned uh, a lot of new things and I decided to implement all that I learned in this pack. Now let's take a closer look at this vehicle. First to say this vehicle was off, off the scale. It was too large because it was using the old measuring units for UDK and slightly bigger. But we had a new cockpit. It was pretty dark, not so detailed. We had a working machine gun and overall it was usable vehicle but in the time i was quite happy with it but now i learned some new stuff just to demonstrate it but the camera and the fifth machine gun and all the vehicles was pretty I it was working but now I learned some new stuff and I will now show it to you guys first let's make this vehicle slightly lower the 2.8 this is the correct scale of the vehicle now I this with this vehicle replaced with this vehicle now we will compare old one and the new one this is a new vehicle and this is the old one front front new side new textures new models I had to change the headlights because of some little stuff and front lights and grill but overall there is no comparison between this one and this one. The textures are way, way better. Now, this is the old cockpit. And this is the new cockpit. All the gauges are working. Steering wheel is working. Indicator lights, so inside lights is working. And there are no comparison. This machine gun is working and the belt is working. It will actually feed the machine gun inside of it. And because it's using a PBR textures, it's shaded correctly. And this is the old 50 machine caliber. Actually, the, this belt was dead, it was not moving. Take a front. We have uh, active suspensions now. This one uh, did not have any suspensions. But this one is all four drives are active suspensions and all four drive wheel. Let's take a 50 caliber machine gun, better look this one and this one. I mean, there is no com comparison here. I learned a lot of new stuff about textures and texturing skills. 
Now let's take it for a ride and explain what this updated vehicle can do for you, your project and your game. Now we have uh, working doors, we have a uh, working cockpit, working steering wheel, inside lights, indicator lights, 50 caliber machine gun camera and let's take it for a shooting range. Now we have a zoom in zoom out function on the machine gun. I like and actually we have a ejection ejection shell ejection part from the machine gun and when the machine gun is over the gun will be hot and but it will cool down. Now let's take it for a spin. I changed the mass of the vehicle to be correct yeah. and eliminated some of the sliding of the vehicle. And like I said, it has a fully working active suspension. Just to demonstrate it, as you can see. It. A work, working suspensions and it works very very well with this vehicle. Now We have our working lights, cockpit lights, front lights, back lights, indicators, inside indicators are working. And I think that this little touches gave something special to all of my vehicles and like I said all the gauges are working some of you guys will remember this map from my previous vehicles I like using this map for testing the vehicles I finally found uh, Map that I like because the suspension stops speed and overall behaving of the vehicle. Now the septic suspensions they are really, really really good and they are hard to set up but when it's all working it's a very nice thing to see on the vehicle because many of the games don't actually have that suspensions. For example, that field 3 and 4 don't have a uh, suspensions. Of course, if, if you don't want to use it, you can disable it just in the animation blueprints. But why would you do that? I don't know. Mm -hmm. So we complete the obstacle course, now let's showcase even more for this vehicle. Now, previous vehicle, 
it only had uh, one skin but I like to make my vehicles let's delete this one let's and this chopper and the CPC now this vehicle if you copy it and just by hitting this button you can change the skin of this now it's a like a desert camo I like to include uh, this woodland and this desert camo on my vehicles because why not it has the same cockpit but just change the skin very very easily now if you copy it again you can actually detach the turret oh sorry and now it's a transport vehicle if you don't want a 50 caliber machine gun on it it's a transport vehicle you can drive it but you can shoot it and again if you copy it this is that I just made I realize why not because it don't don't cost any performance but actually it can be useful let's make it uh, now you can actually remove the back hatch on the vehicle now you have a this cargo space that you can use for your character your models and I don't know or, or just to give some variation to the vehicle so this is the, all the same blueprint but you have have uh, some customization to the vehicle of course you can attach the turret back on and leave the back hatch so you can actually shoot it and if you want your character can shoot back from this posi position or to put some boxes inside it I don't know it's there if you want to use it now now uh, of course like my previous vehicle let's take this one and let's turn the lights on and let's use this All of my models have a specific damage points, like you can destroy the lights on it. Individually, you can destroy the indicators. And of course, you can destroy the back lights and brake lights. But so the whole vehicle if you want I included the damage model was looking and ah, it's overheating let's make uh, some distance and actually if you don't shoot the vehicle it will start regenerating health I include that in all my vehicles so I sometimes forget to mention Let's go up this way. And yeah, the hedge will pop off. We have uh, some particle effects that will play for some time, then the whole mesh will be destroyed. And a pretty cool dynamic, uh, dynamic mesh. It will change the uh, on type of terrain very destroyed for example if it's destroying a hill or, or downhill it will actually start moving and stop at the same time doors can be individually are animated so yeah and after some time it will just disappear so here you go guys my first update of the vehicle in the meantime in a couple of days I will showcase the next vehicle it will be APC I I will already uh, package this 
pack and send it to the Unreal Marketplace team to review it and hopefully it will be replaced with the old one and again I said thank you guys whoever put, put buy this pack or for your support and I hope that you will enjoy this little this not so little big little update of the pack and yeah guys see you in the I don't know a couple of the days